Back here with our minor league pregame show, I'm Matt Vaskersian getting you ready for double-A Southern League action tonight as we jump into our Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Number 20 is in the glow, and he is a fairly well thought of prospect in this organization. So we thought we should check in on his progress down here in the minor leagues, and for that, I'll turn to one of my partners, Steve Lyons. Thanks, Matt. Well, you can see his numbers over the last month here on your screen, and you know he's been playing decently, but nothing really to write home about. I think this organization would like to see him put up some better numbers before they even think about giving him a promotion, but he's not doing anything to hurt their opinion of him either. From what I've seen in his career so far, I like what he brings to the table, and I think he could turn into a solid Major League player if he lives up to that potential. All right. Pre-game festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. Now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show is on the air. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Mississippi Braves and the Tennessee Smokies. And before we get much further, here's a look at our starting lineups tonight. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Number 20 will get his first opportunity now. Second baseman, number 20. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. And that's exactly where you want to put that thing. Start it right down the middle and trust that its action will cause it to drop. Runner holding tight at second, now the pitch. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance, and that'll get down for what should be extra bases. They are on the board as the run scores from second to narrow the gap to 3-1 now. Already their second double of the ball game here in the first inning. He's not fooled too many guys out there to this point, that's for sure. Tom Chung will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Fastball just misses for ball one. And in the first inning, with this guy already looking a little shaky, I think you let him throw you one here. He hasn't proven to me that he can find the strike zone yet. And he takes a cold strike one. Well, now there's a location you want right there. If that ball gets hit, you're just going to bang it into the ground all night long. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Foul back. And a 
fastball. Called strike three, and the side is retired. A run on two hits. And Number 20 makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Second baseman. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And he'll kick off the home third with a home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center as it's now a three-all ball game. And this is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it, and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it. Carlos Bermudez will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Well, usually when you get guys to pop up, it means that you've got them off balance. And and he's been able to mix Larson. things up all night long. Austin Larson will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. On the ground towards second. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Number 20 will try to keep it going here. Already a home run and a double in this one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So no runs. Nate Hill will stand in. He popped out in his last time. And this is hit well towards the hole. Throw on to first, two gone. And after a hot start, the bats have pretty much gone missing here in the middle innings. Sort of reinvented himself out there and has really turned things around. Diego Tavares will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Now a late square, and this is popped up. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. Well, a good pitch there to get the out. And looking ahead, he's due to lead off the next half inning. So in all likelihood, this could be the end of the line for him on the mound. Austin Larson will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? A bare hand for one. Back to first, but it's right over his head. Yeah, and right here, he knew that at second base, he was going to have to hurry this throw back to first if he had any chance to double him up. And you see his throw get away from him. But since there's no advancement, it's going to be a straight fielder's choice. No error on the play.
number 20 will dig in. Two for three with a home run and a double. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Now a hard liner. But this will be a foul ball. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Number 20 will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. And this is fouled back and out of play. Close to the bag, gets second there, now the pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Runner is back. Now a swing and a fly ball. Should be enough to get the job done. Oh, and this goes right past him. And they're going to walk off as winners. They've taken it here in extra innings. Well, you have the sense early on that this one was destined to go down to the wire. And sure enough, these guys are going to pull this one out here in walk-off fashion. Tightly contested ball game here, so it makes it hard to find our tops player of the game, but I think this fellow right here would seem to be the logical choice. And he stepped in knowing the game was on the line, and he was still aggressive. He found a pitch he could do something with, and he winds up winning the ball game. 